Eric Ten Hag should be sacked if Manchester United are defeated by Aston Villa. Actually, someone needs to tell Ineos that if we lose against Aston Villa, the top four is already gone. What are we waiting for? Aston Villa are on fire at the minute after a great European result against Bayern Music. The prospect of facing this misfiring United side is just what they're looking forward to. And the recent results have been extremely poor. But firing the manager may only take us back to square one. As the fans' footballing purgatory continues. And possibly we'll be at the same situation in another two years. If we don't take a look at the root of the problem. The actual players. Still... Eric Ten Hag has had two years to sort this problem, and it still exists. The real problem is the players and the quality of them. And that's partly even down to the club making panic buys and also allowing themselves to get sucked into buys that look good, but they're actually very poor. Baran and Casemiro are two obvious examples of this. Eric Ten Hag at the moment can't even point to not having the players he wants. Matthias De Litt and the vaunted Lissandro Martinez have recently looked as easy to get at as Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof were, particularly last night. Also, rotating players was his excuse for taking off an on-fire Marcus Rashford. I don't buy that argument at all. Something is not right with this whole Rashford situation. Just when he's displaying some of his best form, Eric Ten Hag rotates him out. And last season, when he was consistently poor, he stayed on the pitch and kept getting starts. Casemiro really looked sluggish last night, and he will be roasted by Villa's fast-moving style of play, as will Eriksen, who is a better player, but he really isn't a 90-minute man at this level anymore. Both of them stayed on all last night. Maguire came on, and of course was lauded for an injury-time equaliser. Did you watch the game? In the space of the 17 odd minutes he was on, there were at least two to three hurlers in the defensive line. One was a typical Maguire offside attempt, um, where he attempted to you know, hold the line, and it was obvious that another player was playing the attacker onside, and then he wasn't able to cover the space behind him. We escaped, and Harry was pointing again. Eric Ten Hag by now uh, should have a setback for at least two go-to players in midfield and two go-to players up front. But in two years in, he doesn't even know what his best formation is. And looking at our player pool, I don't either. I don't know who we're going to get, but it's time for this field experiment to end. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Eric Ten Hag, sack or stay? Would you? Who would you replace him with? And... What about those players?